So good morning to everyone. So our project aims to understand which are the neuronal circuits important for sexual imprinting. What is sexual imprinting? So sexual imprinting is an instinctive learning that occurs in many animal species, including mice, according to which individuals form memories of characteristics of their close relatives, such as, for example, their parents. And once they are adult, they recall this memory and use this information to select their best mate. So um, mice, for example, use a combination, is a, multi is a multimodal form of learning, and mice use a combination of odors and uh, uh, sounds to choose their best mate. And we also show that um, females that have been raised with their father, they imprint on father's odors, and once they are adult, they prefer sand marks coming from their unfamiliar male. Um, However, although imprinting is known since many, many years, uh, we still don't know which are the neural bases of imprinting. And to understand which brain areas are involved, we decided to use a whole brain approach. So uh, females, uh, adult females, mice that have been imprinted of different, on different sensory cues are then re-exposed to these sensory cues when they are adult. The brains are withdrawn uh, labeled for the immediate origin CFOS, made transparent by additional tissue, tissue clearing, and then we acquire the whole brain and the CFOS staining using light sheet uh, uh, fluorescence microscopy. Uh, images are then aligned with the Allen Brain Atlas, uh, and in this way, we uh, know exactly how many cells are recruited in each brain region. And doing some mathematical analysis using correlation metrics and in particular graph theory, we uh, can dissect exactly which brain circuits are recruited. And we can then tackle these circuits using more uh, physiological techniques, such as, for example, miniscope recording. So I don't have time to go in the detail of, it, of uh, which brain areas are recruited, but what I would like to underline here is that uh, sexual imprinting has been evolved for inbreeding avoidance. And uh, uh, when we use uh, uh, laboratory mice, such as, for example, black six mice, they are highly inbred. So that's why the project aims to unravel not only the brain region in black six, but also in wild mice, that is they are not very easy to work with. And uh, we are doing that with Dr. Dustin Penn at the Coral Loring Institute of Ethology in Vienna, that is part of the project. And um, I can just anticipate that uh, the brain regions are pretty different, actually. So um, we don't have a poster because we have to leave immediately to go to the <laughs> airport to go back to Italy. But if you have any question for that, just email me. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.